This video will show you how to install the standard sensors provided with this high-performance grill. This video is only meant to help demonstrate the procedure described in the full installation and maintenance manual. It is not a substitute for it. As always, only trained door systems technicians should install or perform maintenance on doors. First, locate all of the sensor mounting components. Light curtains, photo eyes, mounting brackets, bottom bar flag, trim pieces, hardware. To make sure you're placing the photo eye and light curtain on the correct side, there are two tricks. First, the photo eyes are color coded. The red photo eye goes on the operator side of the door. The yellow photo eye goes on the non-operator side of the door. You can also tell what side to put the photo eye and light curtain on by the letters stamped on each. The photo eye stamped SMT and the light curtain stamped SGR will be on the operator side of the door. The photo eye stamped SMR and the light curtain stamped SGT will be on the non-operator side of the door. For this video, we will focus on the non-operator side of the door. First, Attach the photo eye to the bracket using the two number six screws provided. Then slide the T-slot nut into the groove on the light curtain. For ease of installation, the lower mounting brackets have a right and left configuration as shown. We're using the left configuration for this install. Next, screw the lower mounting bracket into the T-slot nut using the M5 screw provided. Then, flip the light curtain over and attach the upper mounting bracket. Be sure to only lightly tighten. You should be able to slide the upper mounting bracket up and down easily. Next, determine the final location for the upper mounting bracket. The easiest way to do this is to use the back of the guides. First, align the middle hole of the lower mounting bracket to the bottom bolt of the guide. Keeping the entire light curtain assembly in place, slide the upper mounting bracket to align that hole with the closest guide bolt. Then tighten the upper mounting bracket fully. Remove the bottom guide nut and bolt and the selected top guide nut and bolt. Use these bolts to secure the sensors in place. Before tightening the bolts fully, check that the photo eye sensor is 6 inches from the ground, then fully tighten the bolts. Once the sensors are secured, connect the bottom photo eye sensor to the plug and play cable. Review our full Extreme 300 Series Performance Door installation video to view details on how to route these plug and play cables from the control box. Once the photo eye sensor cable is connected, tuck the extra cables behind the light curtain. Use the provided clips to secure the wire and make sure no wires interfere with the sensors. Then, connect the light curtains with the plug and play cable. Again, tuck the excess wiring in the guide using the clips provided. On the back of the Y connector, there is an adhesive circle. Remove the backing and place inside the guide to keep it out of the way. Again, tuck the excess wiring in the guide using the clips provided. Then, install the bottom bar flag. 
You will install the flag on the fascia side of the grill. If power is available, we recommend you commission the grill to ensure sensor alignment and functionality before you install the guide trim. Please watch our commissioning video for detailed instructions on how to commission your grill. The last step is to install the guide trim. It comes in two sections. The bottom section is slotted with the longest slot placed closest to the floor. This is so the light curtain will work. The top section is solid. Once the trim is installed, your sensor installation is complete. As a reminder, full installation instructions can be found on our Dealer Resource Center. If you have any questions on installation in the field, our support center can be reached at 1-800-294-4358.